Hello, my crafty loving friends. Shelly here, Repurpose My Way. Who here is ready for Christmas stuff? I see a few people in the back that are saying yes, and a few in the front that are saying no way, not yet. Well, I guess we're just going to have to do it anyway. So I have this strainer that I bought at a local thrift store for a couple bucks, and I decided I was going to do something with it, and I envisioned something for Christmas. So this project will be something, all these actually will be for Christmas decor. So I'm first painting it black and I'm not fully covering it. I'm still letting some of that wood come through. So I just did a light coat of the black. Now I'm dry brushing some white on the handle. We're just going to do the handle and just doctor it up a little bit. Um, I wanted to, I don't know, make it a little darker. So here is some clear wax that I'm going to put over the handle to seal it and make it a little easier to clean and dust if you needed to. So I'm giving that a nice coat and I also did uh, use my heat gun in between each step that I did here to dry the handle off. So now I have a little piece of garland that I've had kicking around. A lot of this stuff is just stuff that I've had. Uh, kind of in my stash and I decided to dig around and find out what I had and I have this garland it's not very long but it's enough to go around this piece a couple times so I am gluing this around the outside of the strainer so that um, it looks like kind of like it's a wreath around the outside of it And I go all the way around two times and then uh, when I'm done I cut off just cut off the excess that I have and I use that at a later time at the end of this there we go so that's where I cut it off this is a plastic snowflake that I had and it didn't have the hole in the middle. And I'm just showing you, I took my glue gun and the heat from the glue gun melted that plastic enough so I could put a hole in it. There is a little bump on the end of this strainer that I wanted to have that snowflake go down over so that it would sit flat and sit nicely on it. So I just put that hole in it. This is some potpourri it doesn't really have the smell anymore but somebody gave it to me and I said I love some of the pine cones that were in it and um, some of the little red berries and stuff and I knew I'd be able to do something with it this Christmas time so I grabbed it up and now I'm picking through it to see what I can find for some decor to put on the outside of this so I picked out a few little red berries and some pine cones and just randomly, kind of random, it's hard to be random, but uh, kind of randomly put them around the wreath and just kind of bring colors out and make it really pretty. There we go, I think we're finished putting those on. Now I'm taking a little bit of greenery in the middle of my snowflake, and I have a smaller little snowflake about the size of a button, and I'm going to glue that on there. And I just wanted the separation, a little bit of greenery in between. And now I'm showing you I have the rice lights. These are timer rice lights with a little button batteries. I bought a bunch of these a while back, and I'm still using them up. And so I decided to use it on here. I was going to put a little light on the inside, but 
I thought this would be fun to go all the way around the outside, wrap it around, and pop the rest of them into the inside of the strainer so that you could see them out through. So there you go, you can kind of see what it would look like. Here I have some netting ribbon that I don't even know where I got it. Somebody gave it to me, I believe. Uh, and I decided to make a bow with that. And it looks really pretty, I think, with all the little berries and stuff on it. And then we're just gonna put a pine cone in the middle of that. Now we're gonna camouflage the battery pack to make it so you can't see that through the screening when it's in there. And that's all we're gonna do with this cute little strainer. Check out the finished product, guys. Welcome to project number two. This one I'm not going to tell you what it is for a little bit to see if you can figure it out. So I have a couple of recyclable cans here from vegetables and also a couple of non-breakable Christmas tree ornaments, the little uh, balls, and they're glittery, but we're not going to, it's not going to matter in this project. These cans were from a video I did just a few weeks back making uh, a dish from Dollar Tree just from products from Dollar Tree and I said in the video that I was going to use them for a future project so here we are and I'll put that video down in the description if you want to see it so what I'm doing is heavily heavily gluing these the tops of these balls onto the bottoms of these can the bottom sides of these cans I pop the ends off them and um, gluing them really really well on there. Now I have some burlap that's all stained. I used it underneath projects and I don't care. Um, this is supposed to be a rustic uh, decor so I'm not really worried about all these stains that are on it. So I am gluing this to the can and I'm wondering if you guys have figured out what this is yet. Maybe you have, maybe you haven't but I'll tell you. We're gonna make some winter boots. And once this is covered, they're gonna look like a pair of blue, uh, boots. So, um, there you go, surprise. <laughs> so this is quite a project, wrapping these, um, these boots up. It's just trying to figure out the excess and how I wanna do it. And I had quite a time uh, with the first one. The second one was a little bit easier and I didn't quite get them e looking exact but I'm figuring where it's homemade, handmade, um, that it doesn't really matter. It's it's not going to be a big deal. So, um, But I did end up liking the second boot better than the first boot. Uh, but I didn't dare to tear it apart just in case you know I would break rip or break something um, so we're just gonna let it go the way it is but this is what I'm doing I'm just taking the excess off and just gluing around the can and just doing it a little sections at a time and folding it in and uh, trying to make it look somewhat shaped like a boot would be There, now that I finally got that all wrapped up and all the extra pieces cut off, we're gonna take this little bit of felt material and it's all just a bunch of pieces that somebody gave me and I said I'll definitely use it for something and here we are. 
So I'm just wrapping it around the top of the boot just to make it look like the top part of the boot and just extend it up a little bit further. And uh, there's the first one that I did. The one that you watched was the second one because I really like that one better and it went a little smoother. So I'm just cutting it down so it will match the other one. And I like this red and black. And I think there's a little bit of green in it. Um, I like this material. I had a couple different kinds, but I like this one the best. And I thought it went with the decor that we're gonna put in the top the best. So I'm just wrapping it around and leaving probably an inch and a half over the top sticking up. So it makes the boot look a little taller. You could even go taller or you could go shorter or you could fold it down. Um, but I think it looks really cute the way it is, so um, we're just going to go with that. Alright, so now I'm taking some jute twine and I'm gluing it to the back. And I'm going to wrap in a crisscross motion, um, like kind of like little shoelaces going around the boot so they crisscross right in the front just like that and I did that to the first one as well and then gluing it on and here you can see the two of them together I think they're so cute so I'm just gluing them together so that they will stay and then here I am taking some foam and cutting it down so I could fit it down inside of the boot because I'm going to be putting some greenery in there that I have and again this greenery I just had in my stash came out of something else that I didn't want or I used already and I just kept the greenery because I thought it was pretty now I can't take credit for coming up with this idea uh, I saw this somewhere and I don't know if it was Pinterest or Facebook or where I saw it. it don't believe it was on YouTube that I saw it but somebody had done it with some foam balls as the little foot tips and I didn't have any of those and I wanted to make this my own anyway um, and so theirs was definitely a little different and I believe they used Dollar Tree um, trees to go in the top and things so mine is definitely a lot different than what they came up with but I really like the idea of it so um, I wanted to show you guys my version there's a couple little red buttons to go on the side to make it look a little more I don't know authentic I guess looking more like a boot and here's the finished product to project number three so I have this plastic circle um, I don't even know where it came from but it came from something and I threw it in a box in my craft room and said I will figure out something to do with it at some point and today is the day and I have a piece of Christmas card stock so as you can see I just flipped it over and put the circle or the ring on it and I'm cutting out the shape so that it can go on the back of it and we're just gonna make a little Christmas decor something maybe you know if you're going to invited to Thanksgiving dinner party or a Christmas party and you wanted to bring something for the hostess uh, it would be a cute little hostess gift to bring I think um, so what I'm going to do is glue the paper onto the back of this circle and then uh, flip it over and show you guys what it looks like. 
I had a hard time figuring out what paper I wanted because the paper in the pack that I bought is uh, so pretty. I just couldn't decide which one I wanted. But as you can see, I finally figured it out. And we are going to take this jute rope and wrap it around the outside of this circle and give it kind of a rustic look on it. I don't mind some of the white showing, but I wanted some of the, the rope to be the main focus around the outside of it. I thought it would look really nice. So just going around the whole front and then once I cut that off, I'm gonna start again around the, the outside and just keep going around and around and around and until that's all covered. When I get to the back, I'm gonna make a loop for it to either hang or just to make it look like it could hang if you wanted to. So I'm gonna take a second here and just let you guys know that I have opened up an Etsy shop. And as I make my projects, I'm gonna try my hardest to get these on there before the videos come out. So if you're interested in any of these projects that I've put out, you can go there and if they're available, you can purchase them um, on my Etsy shop. That's down in the description is the link to that. And uh, I also have my Amazon links down there for a lot of things that I use like this jute rope and also my glue gun, uh, glue sticks, Anything that I use in my video, I try to link down in there uh, for you guys to check out if you're interested. So I have this Merry Christmas tag. Uh, it's a wreath with Merry Christmas in the middle of it and this metal uh, black chicken that I picked up. I'm gonna see if I can find it on Amazon. I will link it there. That might be where I got it. It's I had it for a while so I can't remember quite where I got it. But I'm gonna check on Amazon if it's there. I'll put it down in the uh, link down in the description. But um, I wanted to do something with a chicken on this circle and I decided to glue it down on the paper inside and put the wreath that says Merry Christmas. Um, on the front of that. Then I have some greenery that I'm going to glue onto the front. And one of the uh, cute little net ribbon bows, I just made a, a little, I cut a piece off and just squeezed it down in the middle and um, made a cute little kind of like a bow tie and then uh, now I'm putting in the teeny tiniest little pine cones that I could find uh, in the very middle just to make it pop a little bit okay and I also have some pit berries, uh, just a piece that I had off something else that I didn't use and I'm just cutting some little pieces off that to uh, give it a little more color and I'm just trying to figure out exactly how I want to put those on. And as I'm putting them on, I can see the inside paper. I'm not really happy with how I cut it and it looks like I can see down, you know, right through it. So I decided to take those out and I'm gonna take some more of my jute rope and put it on the inside edge and make it look a little more finished. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm going to now put my pit berries on and we'll see what you think of the finished product, guys.
Hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know down in the comments which one was your favorite. If you want to catch more of my Christmas projects, I'll put a playlist here. Thanks for watching and have a great day.